Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I told you guys that I would be trying to get all the news that I can on 2K Pro Am and Operation Sports just released the article of their official interview with Jeff Thomas. In this interview, they asked him a bunch of different questions about Pro Am and I'm here to let you guys know about this article as well as go over my thoughts about the article itself. Now, Jeff Thomas is the vice president of sports development at VC, and uh, he talked to someone from the uh, OS community. I'm not sure if it was Steve himself, but I know that, you know, they always have interviews with a lot of different people. So, you know, let's just jump into it. So um, what they showed is um, they wanted to know about the whole 10 players inside of one court and the rec center environment, which is 40 players. And the question just was, you know, how is it coordinated? And with his answer, he said, Pro-Am is a new four court arena. So Jordan rec center a.k.a. the only arena that we know must not be returning. Now, it's funny because with the Jordan cover, you would think that Jordan would have a foot inside of NBA 2K this year, but I just don't think that they're bringing back the Jordan rec center itself, just an arena. Now, um, you can have team play in um, a custom arena or in a pro-am arena. Now, I'm guessing that you're basically going to either be in a rec center or you're going to be in that environment. So it says all walk-on play takes place in the pro-am arena. So I'm guessing if you're just one player and you go into pro-am, which is the like the new rec, when you go in by yourself, you'll just be playing, you know, with a bunch of different randoms. And um, so the next question was, can anyone in your program team work on colors or does the creator have to handle that? And the answer was only the team owner can manage that. Now I remember from crew, only the manager could fix everything anyway. So I really don't have a problem with that. You know, um, I remember like a couple people like, yo, won't like these jerseys. So I used to have to go in and change the jerseys. A couple people were like, yo, I hate that color. You have to change the color. <laughs> like people be like, yo, my socks is butt. You had to go in and change socks, all different kinds of stuff. So, um, it's going to be pretty dope. And I remember a lot of times where like when I used to put on like different logos, like we could play three games straight and be like, yo, like we only won two out of three. Like the logo is 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 cheeks, yo. Like this joint is bad luck. So we're going. I have to change the logo. So yeah, I'm pretty good with that. Um, one big thing: can we be a part of multiple teams slash squads? He said, "Yes, you can." Whoa, there! That right there blows my mind. Now the reason for this is with the power rankings, right? The team that has the most wins. It, it will that mean like let me see if I can if I can make this can I make this image bigger no I can't make this image bigger but this image right here basically has power rankings on it and you know for the winner percentage the wins of the team does that mean that you know you can have so many different people in your team slash squad that want to play with you that you can just be winning all the time like what if like okay not even a what if like I'm a I'm a YouTuber I, I play 2K um semi popular and a lot of people want to play games with me I could just have everybody go in on my team and just say yo I need like 100 wins today. Can you guys help me out? And then we, will we have magically 100 wins? Like, will I have that many people join my squad? Or can you only play with the creator of the team? Like, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how that goes. But well, you know, we'll, I guess we'll figure that out. Now, um, it says if you only have three users in team for pro am, can you play with AI? And the answer was yes, you can play with three players and two I players. So I'm guessing that the minimum slash, uh, well, not minimum, but the yeah, just the minimum is three players. Um, I don't think that uh, you can probably do two or one because he was very specific with you can play with three players and two I AI players. So, all right, now um. The next thing was uh, my player exclusive ratings and overall the program. Will they defer from the park? He said no. So that means that I'm guessing whatever stats, ratings, overalls, uh, badges, everything you have that goes in with the park. It will also go in with program. Now, I remember um, LD tweeting out that. Um, it will be much different from last year and playing with multiple teams and squads since he said, yes, affiliations will have nothing to do with Pro-Am. Uh, affiliations will only work in a part. Now, uh, the next question, how do leaderboard rankings work is determined by win percentage, games played, record, blah, blah, blah. And he said the rec records are determined by an ELO rating system. So I'm guessing that he's just going to be updating just about everything um, that actually goes in online throughout their service or whatever is going to be happening. 
All right, so if you decide to switch your crew, will you lose all your individual stats and will it affect your ranking on the leaderboard? No, you will not. So I'm guessing that if you switch your crew or switch your squad or whatever that like that, you won't lose your individual stats. But I'm guessing if you're the creator of the crew or the, the squad, you may just end up losing your squad from the leaderboard. You know what I'm saying? Because he's, he asked specifically about individual stats. So he didn't ask about if the creator left, what would happen. So, uh, all right. So the next thing is, can Pro-Am teams with same nickname exist? Example, Chicago Wings and Seattle Wings. No. Okay. That's that's really that's really weird. Um, I guess my nickname will be something crazy. I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm not trying to put my nickname out there because on day one I want to be able to create my name and and have it you know available. Because I re- I remember one time um I put up like what I wanted my crew name to be and it was going within like the first five seconds of launch. Now um do you have to be in the same affiliation as everyone else to play together? No, that isn't necessary. So, like I said, affiliations have nothing to do with it. Will teams be restricted by position? Except, example, three seven-foot small forwards and two centers or two guards, two forwards, one center. No, there aren't any position restrictions. That sucks. You want to know why? Because I'm going to create a seven-foot small forward, and, yeah, we're going to run the town. Yeah. So, my team is going to be full of three seven-foot small forwards and two centers. Yep. We're going to win it all. Tuh. All right, so uh, will you have a website or app available to check your stats and other game results? Yes. And with that app, I'm most likely thinking NBA 2K. What is it? NBA My what is it? My NBA 2K app. That They're probably going to upgrade that app for NBA 2K16 and call it a day. But uh, I hope you guys check out this interview. Read it for yourself. Um, I'm going to have the this link right here inside the description. So definitely make sure you check that out. Um, if you haven't signed up on Operation Sports, I definitely advise you to sign up, man. Um, everything is right here for you for your liking. Like, let me let me just search like NBA 2K16 real quick. You guys see that I had I, I just recently searched live. You know, I was I was on my live bag. But uh, NBA 2K16. Like, all the information that you guys need to know about is here. So, yeah, they got a lot of different stuff. New screenshots, uh, French cover. It's a lot of different stuff, man. A lot of news coming out. But I just wanted to bring you guys this Pro-Am news because you guys know it's like 80 different covers. And you guys seen the screenshots on my social media last night. But uh, this is IKC signing out. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to my channel. Make sure you uh, send this video out to everybody that you know. And uh, tell me what your thoughts are inside the comment section. I'll highlight you guys in a little bit. Peace. Yeah.